John Forrest's family has provided an update on the 16-time NHRA champion. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. John Forrest's family has provided an update on the 16-time NHRA champion. Now, I know we typically don't talk drag racing on this channel, but John Forrest transcends drag racing. He's motorsports in general. Hell yeah! The guy is exactly what it means to be a racer. So, last weekend in Virginia, not this past weekend, but the weekend before, in Virginia, he suffered a major crash. The engine exploded. Uh, he bounced off the inside wall. 302 mile an hour. Big impact for him. Uh, hit, that, hit the left side wall went back to the right side wall just a really brutal crash and we saw him climb out of the race car he's talking to medical personnel got onto the um to the stretcher and then he was airlifted and taken to the hospital after that and then things got a little dark and we got an update from the family that he was in the intensive care unit and it's like okay that's not ideal you typically don't want to see a 75 year old in the icu that's bad on wednesday he was moved out of the icu into the neuro icu meaning that he had suffered some sort of head trauma in this accident and then on sunday morning his family updated everybody with the most extensive update uh to date that we've seen so they did mention that john did suffer a traumatic brain injury a tbi now there's different levels of tbis i'm not a medical professional i'm not going to sit here and pretend to know i have a decent understanding of tbis uh just from skiing and things like that and typically they're it's not something you want it's bad it's it's typically never a good thing to have a tbi it's absolutely to be able you can recover from it you can live a normal life out of that but john forrest being 75 faces a long road to recovery ahead of him and the family said that in the statement they mentioned that on Wednesday when he was moved into the neuro ICU, he made pretty good progress after after that move. Previous to that, he was heavily sedated and wasn't responding to commands uh, much at all. When they moved him over to the neuro ICU, they removed some of the sedation. Uh, he was able to uh, murmur his name, John Force. He's able to respond to certain commands. He can identify family members in the room by looking at them. He apparently mouthed, I love you. And the doctor said that, he has become confused and agitated at times and he's been trying to get out of his bed and they referred to him as a bit of a raging bull which honestly if you know anything about drag racing and john force that fits entirely into who john force is the unfortunate part is you know I, he's got a long road to recovery he's 75 years old and i've seen a lot of people be like he talked to the medical professionals like the people safety safari on site when he got out of the car and yeah he probably did he probably in that moment adrenaline is a wild drug for the human body right you get the adrenaline pumping you can get out of a situation like that i mean we saw roman grosjean climb out of a flaming race car when it looked like he had no business getting out of that car he even lost a shoe somehow in that and adrenaline is a wild drug the fight for survival right and maybe that's what happened with john force here and with head injuries they're really weird somebody can bang their head be perfectly fine and then four hours later be in a comatose state like because the swelling the bleeding everything like that happens i'm not saying that's what happened with john force here but brain injuries are all different they're all weird so maybe in the moment he was fine but then things took a turn for the worse like when he was airlifted and, and moved so at this point I don't I don't care about John Force ever getting back into a race car. Yeah, he had won two races this year. He's a what 157 time race winner in NHRA. Uh, absolute legend of the sport, the Dale Earnhardt of drag racing, if that's what you want to refer to him as. I don't care about him ever getting back into a race car. At this point, I want John Force to be able to recover, to leave to lead a normal life for the rest of his life and and not be, you know restricted by it we've seen bad head injuries before michael schumacher is a perfect example of it i don't want to see that for john force i don't want to see that for michael schumacher i don't want to see that for anybody it's a brutal way to live so for john force hopefully he's able to recover make a full recovery at this point who cares if he ever gets back into a race car yeah i know a lot of people want to see it and they're like oh you don't know john force he's absolutely going to make another pass i don't know if john force will be medically cleared at this point who knows at this point i think we should all just hope for him to you know be able to live a normal life as he you know continues his road to recovery here the team did race this past weekend um at norwalk in ohio britney force of course did not race this weekend she stayed behind in virginia to be with john but hopefully we get another positive update in the coming days weeks something along those lines he's still in virginia and uh, I'm not sure if he'll be moved or he'll do his recovery there. Who knows at this point? But for John, um, I'm happy to see that there is a positive momentum, you know, in what he's been able to do in the neuro ICU. And hopefully the next update is another positive one as well. So like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.